Hi folks, this is a quick tutorial on how to access the information you need to, for the week one lab. Um, it essentially will be the same procedure for all of our labs this semester. So first thing to realize is that, <clears throat> excuse me, when you go to, you log into Blackboard, you may see um, a course that is Bio 120L. There won't ever be anything in that Blackboard shell. It's generated automatically, but we feel like it's better to keep all of the information in one place. All right, so we're going to go to Weekly Units. I'm going to open the Week 1 unit. And I am going to scroll down until I see the link for the week one lab. I'm going to click on that. All right, so here's what to expect in lab this semester. Week one lab overview. Please, please read these things, right? Because it will save you a lot of frustration. All right, so the first thing, the first part of this week's lab is to look through the material on how to use eScience. And to do that, right, because you probably haven't gotten your kit yet, um, which you don't actually need for this first week, I've made uh, a rough guide to using eScience so you can download that information right when you open the PowerPoint you will see that <clears throat> Once you do get your kit, right, this will take you step by step through what you need to do to register, right, and then also where you'll find the materials, All right? So you definitely want to look through that. It's not critical for this particular week. Um, what you are going to want to do, though, is look through the Getting Started PowerPoint because normally you would be doing that through eScience. But what I've done is taken screenshots so that you don't have to wait on the kit's arrival to do that. So again, download and open that, right? This is, and essentially all you have here are screenshots. So you can go through this, right? Watch the Getting Started video read through the rest of this. Okay. Next we have lab safety. So if you click on this image, you will be taken to the eScience lab safety video. You want to watch that so that you're able to use the materials in the kits properly. Um, and also it's basic lab safety information so that um, if you ever take an on-ground lab, you will have, well, you'll be prepared, right? And these are, the rest of these are sort of fun, snarky ways of learning lab safety that I couldn't help myself but put in there. All right, the next thing we're going to do is look at the orientation to anatomy folder. And this is where the bulk of the material is for your lab this week. So we're going to open that, right? You're going to use chapter three of the textbook, Anatomical Terminology Developing a Common Language, which is linked to within this folder. Um, if you have a paper copy of the book, look at chapter three, right? If you have a, a printer and you like to work that way, you can download this part of the lab um, 
there or if you don't have a printer there's a copy that has typable text boxes. Now you do not submit this lab, right? This is sort of if we were in an on-ground situation and you were using a lab manual, you'd be working through the lab manual each week, right? So each week when you open the lab file, you'll see essentially what we're going to be doing in lab. And I've put little block, blocks here so you can check them off as you go through them. Notice it says your lab report, what you actually submit, is going to be posted on Blackboard. All right, so you want to complete this handout, the week one lab e-science. I probably should have named it something different, but too late now. Please read this and complete it because this, along with lab safety, is what you'll be evaluated on for our lab practical exam, which occurs in week four, right? The post lab or slash lab report that you complete through Blackboard is simply a spot check, right? So you see the red typable text boxes here. This is a very vocab heavy lab. And the reason we're front loading this vocabulary is so that as we work through the different body systems, you have some familiarity with the words that you're going to encounter. Right, so when, I'll show you the post lab in a second, but when, let's see, I'm going to make this highlighted here. So in order to show that you've learned the terminology, I'm going to ask you guys to upload whichever of these three that you completed as you did the lab to show your understanding of the material. So that will be part of the post lab. Sectional planes of the body, right, which is, is a really important idea. Um, I've gotten a couple questions about what picture are you supposed to upload. Um, in this activity, so this is activity four, which is um, covers pages nine and ten of the lab handout, you're going to find three items in your house. So three small apples or potatoes or toilet paper rolls or if you have kids and there's play-doh or modeling clay around you can make three little um, models of the body if you want right then I'm going to have you draw them from the top down from the side and a view from the front the next thing I want you to do is to take each of or one of the of your three models and cut it along the transverse plane and then make a drawing of it cut the second in the sagittal plane make a drawing of it the third cut in the frontal plane and make a copy of it right you're going to be asked to upload your, a drawing or a photograph of the item that you sectioned. And you'll see that in the post lab. And then last we have cavities inside the body. So each week you'll be downloading a file, one or more files that has the instructions for the lab, including the pre and post lab questions, right? Then I've also put in here, there is an additional handout on um, planes of section and positions of the body um, and some additional materials to help you learn it. You do not have to 
I mean, I would look at the plants of section, uh, these gifts. Um, if you have issues with seizures, um, do not click on anything that has the little lightning bolt symbol because um, Blackboard considers that to be a seizure risk. The other materials down here are to help you in case you feel like you don't understand something. All right, next we're going to go click back and here we have the actual lab report. Right? I'm going to click on that. See, it looks sort of like your quiz looks, right? It says it's a test. It's not a test. You can open it, look at it, and as long as you don't click submit, you can come back to it. You can, once you start it, you don't have to do it all at once. And you have some essentially multiple choice questions. You have some matching questions. It's another matching question, another matching question, right? You're going to upload an image and this works the same way that uploading an image to for your con or uploading your concept checked it. You either click browse my computer or um, you can save material onto Blackboard, but we don't need any additional tech. Right? Body cavities. This one you just type your answer in. And then there's some lab safety questions. And then finally attaching the file associated with the anatomical terminology exercise. All right. You can save any answers by clicking down here at the end of, um, not the end of the week, but once you've finished, be sure you click save and submit uh, by the deadline, which is this Wednesday at by 11.59 p.m. You're certainly welcome to submit labs before then. All right. This is saying, warning me that I haven't saved or submitted anything. Now, if we look at the week two lab, and I've gotten some questions about this, I just want to reassure you. First of all, if you do not have the lab kit, I will figure something out for activities three, four, and five here, right? But it's too soon for us to worry about that. Again, you're going to download this file. And then the first two activities are simulations that are built into the Blackboard shell. Right? Here, activity four, testing for proteins. There's some um, technique videos that are built in. Here's some additional information about the math in activity five. And then finally, we have the lab report down at the bottom. All right, so I hope this helps. Please make sure you read all of the announcements. If you can scroll back through them. So we're going back into the past here. Um, hope it helps.